Hey, you over there. Yes, you. Do you like posing? But don't you just hate it when you don't have any inspiration for a pose? But wait, no need to despair. Figure posing has the perfect solution for you. That's right. Just head over to our super secret search engine and type in the name. No, type in the type in the name. No, no, no. Type in the name of the character you want to pose, and our special app will give you tons of inspiration to pose your figure. Buy our secret app today for only $9.99.99. And you will always have great ideas to pose your figures. Or you can just join our posing group at Six Skill Poses on Facebook. Let's start posing. Hi everyone, welcome back to Figure Posing. Today we'll be doing a Google search challenge for the Uzumaki Naruto figure from Zen Creations. So as per usual we'll be going to the Google search engine. I'll select some of the non-figure images like content art or movie still images and then I'll just try to recreate those poses with the actual six scale figure. So let's go to the first image. So this was the first one I found and it actually reminded me of either the beginning or the ending of the Naruto Shippuden series. In this image the body isn't fully shown, but it was enough to get a pose going. Not a very special one, but it's a good one to start this series with. So this next pose is actually from the first installment of Naruto, and it's when he's actually still a Genin, which means he's either still in the academy to become a ninja, or still a lower class ninja. In the series this pose meant a sign of respect or friendship. So the next pose is a simple thumbs up, nothing special again, um, but I did have to shift the weight to his left leg a bit more. And when I say his left leg I mean the leg which is our right. So this one is where the problem started, because there aren't a lot of figures that can really fold their hands in front of the chest. And I tried a couple of ways to make this one possible, even tried unpacking one hand, but I just couldn't get a great arm fold. So I ended up with this one. And I mean, you can see what I was going for, but it's not really what it's supposed to be. So the next picture Google gave me was actually a picture of Naruto in Sage mode. And of course I just used this Naruto figure to copy it. And what I took from the picture was him standing with his weight totally shifted on his left leg. And when I say his left leg I mean the leg we see on our right. And to get there you just need to tilt his hip a little bit. Okay, so this is where the more interesting poses start, and this is an iconic Naruto pose, which is his Kakibunchen no Jitsu pose where he summons a lot of clones. If you want to buy this figure, always, always, always make sure you get the Ultimate Edition, which is the edition Justin Kane reviewed on his review video, because the regular edition doesn't come with these hands, or the shuriken, or the facial expressions, or the kunai for that matter. This pose is the first Rasengan pose and when I see it now um, I see his back is arched a bit too much so he's standing too straight up. To be fair it's just now seeing it on a rotating table that it really bugs me a bit to see it. Um, when I looked at it from one angle only it really didn't bother me as much. So this was another Rasengan pose, and in this pose specifically, the eyes being fixed in one position, as decals actually, um, really limited the way I could manage to recreate this pose. 
because every time I wanted Naruto to look at a target, his whole face had to be turned towards that target. So that kind of threw the pose off. And I think for cartoony characters with decals as eyes, it's even more prevalent than for fixed eyes on Hot Toys, for instance. So this was another case of me not getting what the artist is trying to convey here. And in the picture, the arm also blocks the face, so I couldn't really make out which way he's facing. And even if I could, the fixed eyes on the head would be a problem again. It would really throw the pose off. So I just chose an angle and went with it. So this picture seemed like an instance where Naruto synchronized with QB. And of course, I don't have a Dark Matter or Beast Bomb with my Naruto figure, so I just used Rasengan to simulate whatever I'm seeing on this picture right here. And this is basically a lunging pose. So this was a smaller picture and I don't even know where this picture is from. It could be a cosplay, a live action movie, I really don't know. But I like the idea of the two kunai. And I couldn't completely get the pose, um, but I think from certain angles it looks okay. So the next picture is a really Naruto-esque jumping pose. As far as I know, even for a Japanese style of drawing, this isn't a very common way of jumping. And once again, it's too bad that Naruto has these decals for eyes. I think it's the best way to make it as cartoon accurate as possible, but the head really needs to be pointed towards the way he's jumping to make the pose come off even half decent. Which is too bad because, um, as seen in the picture, I would have hunched his back a bit more forward and his eyes up if I could have. Okay, so this pose is really a testimony to the possibility of this figure. Of course the body isn't hindered by any fabric of the suit, um, but the body itself also allows for a very good range of motion. The closest pose to compare this with is the ground pound pose or the hero landing pose and usually we have to fake it a bit and angle it from the lower left corner. Um, for this figure though, uh, all angles look great. So the next image Google gave me was a jumping pose with one kunai and once again the main limitation of the pose is the fact that Naruto's eyes are stuck as decals on the head sculpt so they always look straight forward and they always stand out so there's no cheating it even a little bit like you would with regular 1-6 figures. So the next image was another jumping pose with one kunai and as with the previous image the problem is the eyes are looking straight forward again. Despite that though this is really another Naruto-esque jumping pose again. So this last picture seems to be from the manga. And this orangey thing is the Rasen Shuriken technique, which is basically a Rasengan which you've seen in a previous pose, but then in the form of a large shuriken. Of course for the pose I had to make do with just the large shuriken, and this is how the pose came out. If you have the space, I think this would be a really cool pose to have on your display. And because there's no pleather or any other material, you'll be able to leave your Naruto figure in this pose for as long as you want. So that's it for this video. I really had fun trying to copy these Google images, um, but let me know if you'd like me to do a more freeform pose series for the Uzumaki Naruto figure from Zen Creations. 
I have bought enough of them, so I was planning to do a Kagebunshin no Jitsu only post series, but uh, let me know if you'd like to see it. If after seeing this video you're trying to get a Naruto figure of your own, uh, please, please, please remember to get the Deluxe Edition, because the regular one only comes with the Rasengan. So you'll miss all facial expressions, you'll miss the shuriken, the kunai, even some hands. Well that's it, so thanks for watching, and as always, if you're done watching this video, and you're ready for some actual posing talent, you can always come to our Facebook group Six Skill Poses, or look at other great YouTube poses like Mikaeus Webb's Amazing Web Channel, Peter Tons, Posing with Peter Channel, and Terry Smith's How to Be a Poser. Links are in the description below. Lastly, remember, never pose beyond your own comfort zone, but keep posing everyone.